What is the best marketing content for middle of funnel content? So you are already running ads or you have a big organic following and you're able to get people into your funnel, but now you're wondering, hey, what type of material, what type of content can I send them to actually get them over the line, to get them to book a call, to get them to actually buy my product. So I'm gonna put middle of funnel and bottom of funnel together here, right? Because I don't think it's too much difference once it comes to the content, right? Of course, there's maybe some nuance. So the thing that you wanna start off with, if you have no idea what type of content to produce, what type of content marketing to produce for your middle of funnel or your bottom of funnel to convert more people, to make more money, then the first thing you have to do is to actually look at your sales conversations. So we recently helped one of our clients had one of their record months. So we added over 150K to, to a monthly revenue. And the thing that we did is we use an app called firefly.ai. That's basically an app that records all of the sales conversations. And we basically took the last 100 or even more sales conversations and transcribed them and put them into an AI software and analyzed them statistically, right? So we had really, really good data on what type of questions people were asking, where people were unsure, where people, uh, you know, said they have doubts or where people straight up put objections in front of our closers. And that's amazing data that we can then use to then obviously make content to combat those questions and objections. So like I said, with this one client where we added, you know, over 150K to the monthly revenue, we basically took all of the data from the last sales conversation, we analyzed them, and we found out that people were having the same objections and questions over and over again, right? There was very much unclarity. We as marketers and as also business owners, we think our product is very clear. Our you know, messaging is very clear, but most of the time it's really not, right? Like a lot of people come in, they're interested, they click on the webinar, they click on the schedule appointment, but they don't really know what it's about. You've made enough interest for them to click, but they don't have enough interest to actually buy, right? They don't have enough you know, information to make a buying decision. So like I said, we analyzed the statistical data and then we created basically videos and emails to handle the objections, right? So we had a lot of, you know, questions about, you know, the general strategy, like why this could maybe also fail and stuff like that. So we basically increased the amounts of emails and videos that we sent the clients prior to talking to our sales representatives, and that increased the conversion rates. But we could also now use those marketing materials, actually, I don't wanna say like further up in the funnel, maybe not in the top of funnel, right? Where you just wanna create the interest, but right after people sign up, we want to then retarget people with the informational content, with the objection handling content, and also send them the emails and the questions and the content straight away, right? So number one, if you don't know what type of middle of funnel content you should create, look at your sales conversations. Look at the questions that are coming up over and over again. Look at the objections that are coming up over and over again. And preferably, you want to look at it with unbiased statistical you know, clarity, right? That means you know, transcribing them, putting them into the eye, because if you look at it from you know, the inside, you might get lost in, in the, you know, the details, but you wanna look for statistical significance. So that's probably gonna already take care of 80% of the content that you should create. Then, you know, what is always gonna help is creating more case studies, right? Believable case studies of believable outcomes. Don't fake it. Don't use stock images. Don't use, you know, like, don't try to make them pretty. Don't, you know, take pretty testimonials. Don't try to edit it. Just screenshot the results screenshots the testimonials, interview people on Zoom, interview them uh, you know, via any camera app and take their word and testimonials for it. People want certainty around the results that you claim to provide. So providing them with case studies is always gonna create that certainty. You can alternatively use something like guarantees, but I think case studies are way better and also guarantees you know, carry a risk for you that you can actually maybe, you know, not fulfill the promised claim if your prospect is actually not doing the, the, the required work, right? So most of the time, you know, they have to give you information. They have to, you know, do some things on their end. So like, I would be careful with guarantees, but case studies demonstrate that you can do this for other people that are like them. So you want to use case studies that are more and more like your target audience, right? If you want to maybe even segment people into different customer segments and create one case study for each segment. So you don't just send like, hey, this is a client that we help with. No, this is a client with the same age, height, net worth, and business that you have. And this is the same result here that we want to get for you, right? So that's a much better case study if you customize the case study to the prospect. And what you can also do is basically not just put that into video format, but then also put it into PDFs and guides, right? Some people like to read, 
some people like to have you know numbers mapped out and everything so you want to basically take all of those objection handling faq content testimonial content and you want to package it in a different way so you want to maybe package in a pdf in a written way and in a video way so that people can consume it and maybe even audio right so that you have all the mediums covered so that people can consume it in their preferred way of actually consuming what you want to send them so that's always a safe bet try to cover as much mediums as you can and that will further increase your conversion rate now last but not least and this is really a game changer if you can pull it off is having one of your previous clients basically be your super fan your super connector where you can connect your new uh, prospects to your previous clients, right? Like if you have a good client, you can even pay him a commission or you can, you know, just, you know, ask for him, for him to be friendly that he actually talks proactively to your prospects, right? So that could be like, hey, you can actually have them call him or, you know, set up a meeting together, right? So a Zoom meeting where all of the participants are going to be. Or alternatively, he can reach out to your prospects, right? But here you will probably have to pay a commission. But if he reaches out to your prospects proactively, like, hey, I'm this client, you know, Chris told me to call you and I just wanted to confirm it's the best decision I've ever made. That, that can be phenomenal, phenomenal content that can be phenomenally marketing content for your bottom of funnel, middle of funnel, where you can get more sales with that. Now to go into more details on the content type, basically what we call sales assets, I've made another video. You can check it out here. And if you need help creating sales assets, creating more sales for your company, and you're already running advertising and you're already not a beginner, then feel free to schedule a call with us. I'm gonna put the link below. We normally add an easy 100K to multiple hundred thousands to your company's revenue by using basically all of the strategies that we talk about in this videos. And otherwise also, if you want subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel.